It's like, this is going to be another month that's going to go by real quick, at least in this case, for what I'm about to discuss with you guys right now, I sure hope it does. Cause. What's up, beautiful people? Losing Drea here, and today it is Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? No, it is Monday. Gosh, I don't even know what day it is today. I do know it is the second day of March, though, of 2020. It already didn't start out that well. Um, speaking of, so I got a message from Melanie, um, Princess Ninja, and Keto. Said, oh, yay, you're on board with us or something like that. Or you're doing carnivore with us. And I haven't caught up yet with any of you guys' videos, so I don't know what y'all are doing. The only one that I know... Uh, what they're doing right now. Uh, well, two people. Uh, Joni Keto Diamond, I think, is away on a, some vacation. Uh, or she was, and maybe she's back by now. But I know I've seen some glimpses of what's to come on uh, videos that have been uploaded, which I have yet to watch. And um, then um, Jelly Fat to Keto, She's doing the string thing with uh, living keto or life life on keto. Oh, crap. Michelle, you're going to kill me. can't think of your name. Um, but, yeah, she's doing a collab or she's actually, they're doing a collab. And then what she and I have done before, which is just kind of go along, even though we're, like, not in the collab. Like, we didn't state we were in any such collab, but... We were going along and doing the same thing. And apparently, uh, my Meet Only March um, looks like I'm going carnivore just for the month of March. But I've been carnivore. I actually went carnivore, I want to say June. Is it June of um, last year sometime? I know it was June. Yeah. Um... On June 24th of last year, I was 238.6 pounds and I started what I called Ketovore because, of course, still doing cheese and heavy whipping cream and things that they say really isn't carnivore. But if it comes from an animal, and I don't mean, okay, it was baked and there's milk in it, or, you know, or it's a pot pie and there's chicken in there and it's got to be healthy. No, it, it, that's not what I mean. It only animal means only animal. It can't have anything that has not been um, part of the living organisms of some animal at one particular point or another. I don't know if I should word it like that. I'm already going to be attacked and dragged through the comments by all of you vegan vegetarian people who, let me tell you, I've been there, guys. I'm all for the... Uh, being humane to animals and this, that, and the other thing, but I'm also for living my own life because there's no sense in living for a cause if you cannot be alive to fight for that cause. I'm not going to kill myself for anyone or anything else, at least not in this moment. Um, so yeah, the carnivore thing is not something new that I've been doing, guys, but the fact that I have at times introduced other foods that are not carnivore and the fact that there's been a few times that you know I've been drinking coffee with my heavy whipping cream as I'm doing right now and um there was a couple other things like you know because I'm like I love my veggies so I was eating veggies even though my body doesn't love my veggies and you know I eat a lot of pecan. Well, I don't eat a lot of pecans, but when I buy pecans, I will eat a lot of pecans. And if there's any kind of snacky type food, keto, non-keto, whatever the crap is, I'm going to end up in it. I'm going to end up eating it. And I'm not going to stop at just a one or two where if you add up just your net carbs, you fall within the range below the 20 a day that I'm allowing myself. I don't know about you. I don't know about anybody else. Some people I hear can go 50, 100, you know, carbohydrate grams daily. I don't know who you are. If you get away with that, are you working out? Are you a male? 
you know, maybe you have more weight to lose, therefore you're carrying around more, which in essence will help you burn more calories. You will lose more weight because in the beginning, when I was over 300 pounds, I was losing a lot more weight a lot faster than I am now that I am like, you know, 75 or whatever pounds lower on the scale. And I say now on the scale, I have to add that because... Knowing what I know now after this last cheat of mine, which was like three months, literally off the wagon, three months, could not get back on track no matter how hard I tried. The day would go by good and nighttime would come and that's where I would fall off the wagon. And of course, let me add, I'm a night person. I work nights. So when I say days, you know, I wake up three, four o'clock in the afternoon, and so that's my morning. And so by nine, ten o'clock at night, that's my afternoon. And that's when I'm more likely to probably just eat dinner, as it has been lately. I have my coffee, and I end up pretty much what I consider to be fasting throughout the whole entire day until later at night, 10, 11 o'clock. I eat my dinner, and I'm full, and I don't mess with anything else the rest of the night. That's the way it should be. Um, and then I go to sleep depending on what time I get off at night. And if I get off 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, or I allow myself, because I'm my own boss, I can get off at 3, 4 in the morning. But if I'm busy and things are going good for me and I've got money flowing in because of what I'm doing in that moment, I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing in that moment because I'm going to break that that little groove that I've got going there. At least that's in my infinite wisdom and thinking. So, you know, I just keep going. But then I find myself letting the dogs out, and I'm hungry then at that time. If I go to sleep, my hunger doesn't set in until, you know, a few, an hour or so later, so I end up escaping the, the need to feed, basically. But, you know, I don't even want, I want to quit drinking the coffee because I want to see how effective that might be for me. But yesterday I started drinking iced tea, which I brew myself, uh, normally have decaf, but then um, I ran out of the one that was decaffeinated, and so I have one that's caffeinated, which I actually like the taste of it better. It's not as bitter, if you know what I mean. So, but then I thought to myself, tea, coffee, same thing, other than I'm not putting heavy whipping cream in it. So maybe I could just do without the heavy whipping cream. But the heavy whipping cream is the fat that I need that helps sustain me throughout the day so that I don't find myself endlessly looking to munch out and eat things and basically nosh. I was noshing yesterday and to be on day one of March of meat only, even though I only ate eggs and or cold cuts, I realized that those cold cuts, um, in my case, Genoa salami, has malodextrous in it. And I heard Jelly, Fat Taquito, speaking about how malodextrous makes her gain weight. And don't you know, I was up two ounces on the scale today. Now, this is not an official weigh-in day, so I don't know that I should actually, like, discuss the weight part of it. But let me just say, you know what? The struggle is real. And if you're on this journey along with me, then you know that. I don't need to tell you that. I really don't. However, that being said, I will add that I myself am tired of the scale going up and down, up and down, up and down. I thought about working out, but I know that that creates inflammation and it hasn't helped me up till this point now into my fourth year. So why start now? Um, you know, I do get exercise. I'm constantly on the move. I'm constantly working out. I really don't have time to stop what I'm doing, get in my car and go to the gym. Right now, I don't even have my car. My husband has had my car because he's having car problems with his car. So I don't even have a car. I mean, I do. I could get in his car and probably use it to go somewhere locally, which if I need to, I will. However, I'm not going to um, be as quick to get in the car and go anywhere because even though we have the same car, his is just a year older than mine. I don't know. It's just, I like my car. I want to drive my car. Um, and I don't want whatever problem he has on his car to leave me stranded either. Because I don't even really understand what's going on with his car, to be honest with you. This is one thing. It is, it's another. And it just keeps, it's a money pit. It just keeps draining the wallet over here. And, um, you know, I'm looking for a home. I'm looking to purchase some property. So I'm trying to save all I can. I am not trying to spend on things that I don't find important in my life anyways. Just saying. So, 
Um, yeah. The struggle's real, guys. It, the struggle is real. I'm sitting here. Um, it might look like the background's changed a little bit. I've just kind of moved myself a little bit just to kind of get into perspective. I'm not going to go on and on. I want these videos to be somewhat short if they don't have to be long. Like, if I really don't have anything to say, then I really don't have anything to say. Now, initially at my highest weight, I was 244 pounds, I think it was. Yeah, well, two... The bird's going to start his crap because my mother, don't you know, has to eat right when I'm doing a video. Never fails. Um, yeah, 244.8 on February 18th. That was my highest. Uh, so today actually is day 67 of... Um, so I actually have 60, 67 days from today, to including how I eat today, up until my birthday... Um, for which I'm counting down because I, as of today, have 20, what do I have? 25.8 pounds to lose to get to where I was at my lowest. Okay. Um, I really want to be to Wonderland by my birthday though. So in order to do that... I will have to lose 35.8 pounds between now and in the next 67 or 66 days. So I'm putting that out there. So for any of you who might be following along with me, you can see, you know what I'm going through. You know how many days I got. I don't, you know, I haven't counted the days of like, you know, how many days have I been on keto I've been on a thousand and some odd, some odd, some odd, some odd days. I've been on keto for a lot of days. January 8th, 2017 is when I started. So I'm now into my fourth year. I'm not four years, but I'm into. It's like three years and a month, almost two. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So... But that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you, be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey. And I definitely will be seeing each and every one of you guys in my next video, which will definitely be tomorrow for day three of the 31 days in March of eating just meat. Bye, guys. Be blessed. Mwah. Hey, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below and be sure to ring the bell so you can be notified of all new videos as I put them out to you, as well as if I go live.